All right, Fred, let's just start by talking about the new developments from Pippo that you've brought here to the show. Okay, so this year we bring uh, three new engines. So this engine for WRX, it was a specific request with uh, direct injection and port injection and brand new engine. So first race in Spa and first win. Uh, then we have the rallycross engine for the French Championship. We developed specially for this uh, national championship and we win the title uh, quite easily. And then at the end, it's the Titan Eric uh, project uh, where for next year we work on the fuel and uh, we plan to use 90% uh, non-fossil uh, fuel and uh, with uh, ethanol and uh, synthetic fuel. All right, Fred, let's uh, continue by looking at the French rallycross engine and the differences you've got on this one compared to 12 months ago. Okay, so when we start to develop this rallycross engine we, for the national championship, we don't want to start with the uh, WRX from the uh, world championships. So we develop a specific engine and to save cost, we use the turbo with integrated uh, wastegates. And for this purpose also, we have the exhaust ball joint, which makes it very easy to fit the exhaust downpipe to the system and to avoid having some stress from the downpipe to the, to the turbo. And this engine achieved success in its first season as well? Yes, yeah, so uh, since the first race we was leading the, the championship and we win the championship before the end of the season. So it was a great success for us and a very good result with this engine. And is this something you're looking to take outside of France, potentially run internationally? Yeah, the target is to run, it, we call it the National Eric engine, so it could be used in different uh, countries and also for the European Championship we start to to discuss with customers to, to use this engine. I was just going to move on to uh, the patent parts of these engines, the, the work you've been doing with Polyshape. Okay, so especially for the Rallycross uh, project, uh, we was having a lot of troubles with exhaust system, downpipe and turbo. So we developed this uh, exhaust ball joint. Yeah, We can have one on the turbine uh, outlet, one on the wastegate outlet, but all can move together and it's sealing uh, perfectly on this side. So if the engine is moving a bit compared to the chassis, if you have some distortion, some heat expansion, the, the both system can uh, release the stress on, between the exhaust system and the, uh, and the engine. And this is a new development that you've brought to the show for the first time and is available to customers in 2020? Yes, we've developed this uh, ball joint in uh, 2017, start to use it in prototypes car in 2018. We have the patents in uh, 2018, so it's a project we develop uh, with uh, Polyshape. We do the design and Polyshape is doing the 3D printed uh, in Inconel. And so we test it on the dyno, test it on the car, improve the shape, and uh, then it's ready uh, for sale uh, at the show here. And what improvements does this make to uh, engine integration and general day-to-day -day running? So it's very lightweight parts. It's a one millimeter thin layer uh, in Cornell. It's two layers uh, internally and one layer, uh, so it's moving easily. And uh, the thing is, you can easily fit the exhaust down pipe to the, to, the, to the engine and the turbo because you can have this, uh, it's plus minus 10 degrees uh, rotation on the three axes. Just separately, um, we obviously saw you here last year. I think you keep coming back to the show year on year. What is it that keeps bringing you back to PMW? Yes, so last year it was the first time we, we was at the show. It has been decided quite uh, latest in the season, so not, not a lot of time to, to, to prepare everything. And uh, the show was very good for us. A lot of people was uh, happy to see us, to see our products, and uh, we have a lot of questions. We also found a lot of uh, new suppliers during the, the show. So it was a great experience. So we decided to come back uh, this season, and it's also very good to, to be here today.